Hi, this is Alan here. Um, just wanted to do a recap of a couple of trades I did today that uh, seemed to have worked out pretty well. Um, so at the opening range um, with MU, I took it short at approximately um, 47.38. Uh, this was a short that was you know, called out by Andrew as well. Um, and kind of wrote it down and took some profits. And it, it bounced back up. Um, we thought we might get uh, stopped out here, might, might bounce back, but it continued to drop, so I held it. And then I, I sold it down here. And then I just continued to hold, hold thinking it might continue to drop, and it just, it just kept going. So you can see I did another sell down here, and then I just waited. And eventually it got to the 46th level, and um, it started to struggle around here and and show signs of reversal and I was okay well it's, it's dropped you know a fairly significant amount so I just ended up getting out but as you can see it just continued to plummet it just kept going and going and going um, it was just not a good day for MU so eventually it kind of stalled here and it, it created a little bit of a level um, so what I ended up seeing was, you know, it, it couldn't really make any new lows here. So I sort of went long um, at that at this level at uh, 44, 41, with with a really tight stop, a little bit too tight. Um, and just let me see if I can find it here. And what what ended up happening was I um, I ended up kind of getting out of break even because it came back down I got out got out of break even and then realized well it hasn't really made a lower low so as soon as it you know came close to it I was like you know what the risk reward here is pretty phenomenal like this is my risk this is my reward so you know why not you know go long at this at this point so I went long and then it, it this is I managed to catch this because this is this is the point of the actual reversal so it came up um, it struggled uh, at this level, so I ended up selling here, and then it came up, and um, it ended up come up, coming up, and I sold more here, and then I held it, and eventually, you know, I sold more, sold more, and then it just kept going up all the way to VWAP. So I was waiting for it to, to eventually touch VWAP for my final sell, but it kind of broke here. So as soon as it broke this level, I I sold out on the, I stopped out on the rest. Um, and it's a good thing I did because it then plummeted. I actually considered going short here as well because, you know, I, I noticed that it did lose this level, and I was like, this might make a really good risk reward for a short, but I didn't uh, end up taking it. So those two trades worked out uh, fairly well with MU. Square, um, a little bit of the same. I took I took Square short after it uh, showed some some major weakness, you know, at this level. Um, as it as it broke VWAP, I sold. I sold most of it and then got it all out um, as it popped back up. I then tried to go short. Um, sorry, I tried to go long here, uh, thinking that it would pop back up, but it ended up coming back down. So I, I sold it, and um, you know I'm in my final trade here. It it basically you know broke the it, it made a new five minute high here, and then it it broke the uh, 15 minute range that I was in um, over here, and it it basically popped up and I thought it was going to break VWAP. I'm still in this trade actually, and it hasn't broken VWAP yet. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what it does at this level. Um, I may choose to actually get out of, get out of this position actually. Um, and that's, that's basically it for uh, Square and MU as, as, as my trades. Thanks for watching. Cheers.